yeah hello there and welcome back and let us continue with our lesson over here so the next step let us go and see how we can add a fund over here so we will be using a google fund so for that let's go to the pub.dev over here and let's try to find the google fund over here so the google funds is the uh, package flutter package to use the funds from the funds that the google.com and we suppose the http fetching catching and the asset building as well so let's go to the google funds over here and let's grab the uh, installation first of all so let's grab the google funds from here and let's go back to our uh, let's go back to our pubspec.yml file that will be from the common and with this command, we will go to the, uh, let's go to the pubspec.yaml file. And uh, let's add that one over here. So let me add that one and I'll just copy the uh, link from here and let's add it over here as well. And let's close this one over here. So once we have this, let's run the uh, Flutter pub kit over here. And we are good with that. So once we have added that one, what we need to do is let's go to the documentation over here and let's go to the readme file over here. So let's go down and let's take an example. So we need to import the Google funds and, and then you can add into the, your text style in this way. So you can sign it style and you can see the Google funds dot the Lato, or you can use any of the preferred your funds over here. Uh, you can use it directly in this way. So in, in this way, it will be downloading your funds or it will be using the internet to get the funds. And uh, But we don't want to get the funds from the internet. Uh, we want to download the funds and uh, we want to store it in our application. So that will be much better if you are building an offline first application. So you don't have to have an internet connection to load the funds. So let's go down and uh, let's go let's go down and let's take a look how we can do that one. And if you go over here, you can see we can use in the material app. We can pass in the theme over here. So first of all, we need to download the theme over here. So let's go on to the top and let's go to the funds.google.com over here. And from here, you can search all of your funds that you require. So I'll be searching uh, uh, na Noto, right? So let's search for the Noto over here. And uh, Noto San. So if you have all uh, the Noto, uh, Noto Sans uh, basically supports most of the uh, your own language. So you can see it has the Japanese, it has the Korean, and you can see the traditional Chinese, Hebrew, and a lot of the other uh, the languages where you can see the Telugu, Hong Kong, and you can see the Korean, you can see the Thai over here, and you can also see the Bengali, and then the Arabic. So a lot of the funds, Google funds that support the, uh, the local, like the uh, Asian or the traditional language, you can see that it is through the NATO. So we will be downloading this particular fund over here. Let's download the uh, uh, NATO Sans over here. So uh, let's click on this one and you can download the uh, family from here. So, and, um, so let's download the fund family from here and uh, let's download that one so once it is downloaded what we can do is let's go back to our folder over here and let's create a new folder in our common and with this common okay so i need to create the folder not the file so let's go to the common and let's create a new folder and let's call this one as the google f o n t s funds over here so whatever funds you have just downloaded, you just have to place inside over here. And once you have added all of your funds to the Google Funds folder, let's go to our pubspec.yaml file over here. And let's go down to the assets section over here and let's add in our Google Funds over here. So Google and then the funds over here. So once we have added that and let's run the 
update get over here and let's close this one over here so let me try to uh, save this one over here and once we are done let's go back to the our let's go over here and we'll go to our main application and let's open up the uh, main the, the dart file over here and we need to include the license file over here so if you go to the google funds and whenever you download the funds they will have the license file so this is basically the license file that you need to include in your application startup so let's go to the our main.dart file over here and if you go to the documentation so let's open up the documentation over here so you can see there is a licensing licensing the uh, funds over here and you will see that we need to add this one before we run our app over here so let's copy this particular code from here and let's go back over here and uh, i'll go on to the uh, after we have this so once we are once we have completed all of our slices and of all of our work properties let's go and set up the licensing over here and let me arrange this one properly and let's import the uh, i guess i need to import the let's import the root bundle first of all the service and also need to import this one flutter foundation and we are good to go so now we have the ofl that the text and make sure you have that text over here so if you go to the common and then you will have the google funds and inside that you will have that ofl dot the txt file but what we have now is this file is inside of our package which is of the common so what we need to grab is we need to grab the uh, location of this one. So just right click and copy the uh, relative path and let's go over here and let's paste this one over here. So that should get the correct path for us because it is inside of our module since we are following the modular architecture over here. And once we have set up this, uh, let's try to comment out and let's say, um, in the Google Fund LIC ENS Google Fund license over here. So that's cool. So once we have that, we are good to go. So let's go and open up our another file. So let's go to the main widget over here and let's go on to the top over here. And you can see that we have added the uh, flexi theme over here. So what we need to do is we need to provide the uh, theme the text theme over here so let's add in the option so i guess i'll go to the uh, top over or let's go on to the button and let's add the uh, text over here so we have the text theme and then the primary text theme this one should be and there is another one of the text theme that will be of the primary text theme so we need to provide this two over here let us use the google funds over here so uh google we have the google and then the fonts funds dot then uh we need to import this particular package so let's try to import it so we can't find it let's go on to the top over here let us run the uh, flutter pub kit before we import that one so flu to the flutter pub kit over here uh, we need to get that dependency because we have added to our package but we need to get it to our main application over here so let's run the flutter pub kit so it should get that particular dependency over here so once we have that uh, dependency we can just go and import it from here so let's go and run the import and that will be of the uh, google and we have the google fund so let's import this one over here and once we have imported so let's go down and now we should be able to get that one over here and once we have imported the packets let's go and add in the note to sans sans then we need a text theme over here so let's import that one over here and that will be of the we need to pass in the theme of the text so theme theme dot of context over here uh then but of c o n t x the context and let's add in the uh 
text theme over here so that should do the job for us and now you can see if you read the documentation applies the net not to sans font family from the google font to the every text style in the given text theme so if you are using the text theme from the uh, your application that or the flutter theme then uh, wherever you are using this particular theme it will use the nato sans theme over there so you don't have to manually assign the text and you can also override with the different uh, the google fonts over there but we want to make use of the same text theme over all of our application that's why we are providing it through the material over here so let's copy this one and let's go and paste it over here and let me close it over here as well and let's copy this one from here and we need to pass this one to our dark theme as well so let's pass in over here and now we are good with that so once we have added or set up it to our material which is of the material app that we have right and then we are good with that so you don't have to uh, go and set the text theme on every text style that you want to define of course you want to override with a different font that's perfectly fine so let's try to uh, restart or let's try to load our application and let's try to see how it look like and we got some error let's try to see how we can fix this and it says the uh, no variance of the no file or the variance found for this particular uh, package over here so let's go to our pubspec.yml file and in the assets section we have included the google fonts but we forward uh, we forgot to add the uh, forward slash over here so that should be good enough and uh, let's try to run the flutter pub kit over here and also let's try to run the flutter pub kit from our root of the package so root of the application so fluttf flutter pub get over here because we changed some dependency in our packages so let's try to wait for this one to complete and once it is done let's try to go and run the application one more time and let's see if we can fix this particular issue over here so look like that the uh, application is trying to build up over here so let's try to wait and see and finally you can see that application is running now and you can see a slight difference on the front but uh, you don't see much difference over here it's a bit uh, darker over here and if you try to uh, let's try to see if we comment this one out so let me try to make it a smaller over here and let's try to comment this one out over here and sorry for that the hot reload was rejected we have to hot restart so let's try to hot restart over here and let's try to see if we get a different uh, you can see that we have a different color uh, i guess a bit darker over here and now let's try to change it to english and let's see how it looks like so let's try to hot reload over here and uh, let's try to change this one and let's try to open up the uh, text over here and let's try to use the google fund over here and you will see that it's a bit different over here and you can see there is not much difference with the system default fund which is of the roboto and the sf or sf for the or the san francisco for the ios uh, you can see that it's a bit uh, darker for the uh, nato sense compared to the sf that we have previously used not much difference and the another thing that you can to test if you want to really test is you have to load a completely different fund so for that i have a different fund which is of the i i can't spell it uh, s a c r a m e n t o uh, sacramento regular i guess that's the one so you can also use that fund over here and the s s uh, s c sacramento text them so we'll load this one over here and let's try to remove this one and let's try to uh, load this one over here so i guess i'll also copy this one and load it just for our light theme over here and let's try to hot reload over here and you can see now that the text theme has completely changed over here so which means that the fund that we are loading over here is 
working perfectly. Uh, this is that the uh, the Noto sense and the system default fault is quite similar. You will just see a bit difference of the uh, contrast, and I guess that's that's the thing that you need to note. But if you want to test, you can completely load a different fund and try to test it out. But uh, we have successfully loaded a Google fund over here. And that's all for this lesson. And uh, we will meet up in the coming up lecture where we will be learning much more thing. Till then, I guess uh, have a great day.